What is good, my peoples? This is Kobe2408. As always, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share if you enjoy these videos. Make sure you hit the notification button so you know when I upload new videos or when I'm live streaming. So this video, I'm just going to talk about a bunch of the reworks that are going to happen. Also, something that leaked uh, from one of the pro players, but uh, that will be uh, later in the video. Uh, you can skip to it if you want, but uh, first up, we have LeBlanc. Now, she was supposed to get a rework. It looks like they're not planning on giving her a rework, unfortunately. Not soon. But eventually, when they have time to work on some reworks, they will give her a rework. It looks like Irelia might be first, and then Swain, and then we'll see Aatrox, or maybe even Yasuo. I'm not, I haven't heard anything about Yasuo yet, but he's supposedly supposed to get a rework, especially with his wind wall. Um, I think that might get reworked, but so it'd, it'd be a mini rework and all. But uh, this is what uh, Medler said about the LeBlanc rework. Someone had asked, are you still planning on updating LeBlanc? What do you think of her right now? And Medler responded, LeBlanc has some issues that we definitely want to address at some point in her update last year. We resolved some of the problems that plagued her, but introduced some new ones in the process. I think what they, what they screwed up on LeBlanc is her ultimate. Her ultimate's like really funky. You basically use it to, to stun people with the chains. You don't really use it for anything else. I mean, you use it to like send out her ultimate just to see like vision and stuff. And that's really it. I mean, it's just a troll ultimate. But uh, here, let me just read the rest. We took some time recently to test several variations of new spells on her kit. Uh, while a lot of them were interesting, they didn't feel like the set of changes that would solve her problems and satisfy the desires of both camps of LeBlanc players those that prefer the old version and those that prefer the new one. I prefer the old one. Uh, it was just easier to play and a lot more fun. Um, anyways, uh, if we were updating LeBlanc again, we need to make sure that it nails it rather than just creating an additional group of players that prefer now an additional version of LeBlanc. Having not found that we were satisfied with yet, we're opting to table further LeBlanc rework explorations for now as we focus our efforts on systems and champs that need more urgent attention uh ruins reforge follow up so uh this was posted actually a little while ago for the time being we're going to look to tweak some things around to be a mix of both pre and post rework leblanc until we have the time to invest deeply in kit explorations again so basically what he's saying is they don't have time to fix everything about her kit they're just going to put her on hold and it looks like the more urgent champions obviously is irelia and uh, it's really Swain and Irelia and then Aatrox. I think Aatrox is probably the biggest. Irelia is doing quite well right now, but she is receiving a rework. It might be next uh, up than Swain because uh, I actually got a few... Uh, well, I got a video on a Irelia one trick who is challenger right now who's actually going to riot to um, work on the LeBlanc rework. So that is a first to work on the Irelia rework. Now that is a first for Riot to, I believe, send somebody out to Riot Games in California and uh, have them actually like sit down, a challenger player sit down and actually look at the new rework and uh, give ideas to Riot to how to improve on the rework. But here is the video, Take uh, watch the video. Um, it, it is a little bit lengthy, but his name is Irelia Carries You. He is Challenger, as you can see from uh, his stats right here. And uh, he's a beast with Irelia. She's actually doing quite well. She, I believe she has a 50% win rate. Irelia overall, who play Irelia. Not just uh, Irelia Carries You, but uh, uh, Irelia in, in a, as a whole, she has a pretty good win rate right now. So um, I think the new runes press the attack is helping her quite a bit. But uh, she is getting reworked. Uh, her problems late game is a struggle like she doesn't really she has problems late game like extremely bad And uh, I used to play her but her late game was awful and uh, so uh, she's getting a rework enjoy the video watch it Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I will see you right after the video. Hello everyone This is a quick update video. I finally got challenger. I'm super fucking happy about that uh, It took me like two months of seriously playing the game about a month um, where I was only where I was only playing for myself and I didn't stream it, but for for the most part I stream most of the games that I played. And I think a lot of people like that, so um, I might play on the main account more in the future on stream, or I could just stick around on Giant Phallus. We'll see. Uh, quick update: I'm not gonna be streaming for like another three to four days just because I gotta finish all my all my final papers. I've already done one, still have like three more. Probably gonna be done the next one by tomorrow. And then the last two, I'll just I'll just like shit them out so I can I can start streaming for you guys. Also on the thirteenth, I won't be able to do anything as well because I will be flying to Riot to test the new Aurelia, which I'm pretty 
pretty excited about um doing that obviously but um at the same time it's uh it's kind of like a worrying time for me because if if i don't if i don't like get the hangover pretty fast then i'm probably not gonna i'm definitely not gonna stay in challenger because right now i'm pretty much a one trick i used to play a lot of katarina but the new katarina is just too different and she's perma banned anyway so i can't really play her i've been practicing a lot of fiora uh she is pretty difficult for me i don't know why but yeah, I'm still getting the hang of her. I definitely have been noticing improvement with Fiora, Fiora as well. So hopefully within another 100 games or so, I will be good at Fiora too. Or at least good enough to um, play her and not be too hard. That's that, That's basically my hope. And I can always play Renekton, so it's not too bad. But um, you guys wanted me to p play Fiora, so I've been, I've been really trying to learn her. But anyway, that's the quick update. I hope you guys are having a good time while I'm gone. Because uh, I'll, be, I'll be back pretty soon, so don't worry about that. And yeah, I hope all of you guys have a great day and a great night. Or a great night. And I'll see you in the next video. Or in my next stream. So as you can see, um, he's being invited to Riot Games to test out the new Irelia rework. Which I believe is a first, like I said. Um, Swain was supposed to be next he was actually supposed to uh come out before irelia but it looks like irelia might actually come out before swain uh kind of sucks because i love swain i like swain more than irelia personally but uh we'll see how that goes also quick uh leak that we got from Afromu. he said cody son which is the which was the 80 care for immortals has joined 100 thieves and i have the video to prove it that he mentioned cody son which I don't think he was supposed to mention that, but uh, here is the video. Take a look at it. Let me know again what you guys think in the comments below. I think it's pretty funny. He kind of like hesitates after he says Cody son. He's like, oops, I kind of screwed up, but uh, <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, enjoy the video. Why do any of the 100 Thieves players talk about the team? Because uh, we haven't met each other yet, man. Sunday and uh, Ryu is uh, in Korea. And uh, it's Christmas over here, so, you know, me, Medios, Cody are all with their parents that's all i got for you guys for today as always make sure you subscribe like comment and share i'm kobe 2408 thank you for watching and you guys stay awesome my friends and i'm out peace